This is the paper I'm using to paint on for this demonstration. It will be used for collage parts. It's fairly lightweight sheet drawing paper. I get it in these 36 inch wide rolls and then just cut it into smaller sections. So the paper is on the wall and I am applying paint with, this is a catalyst wedge. Later I'll be using a squeegee. These are transparent colors, quinacridone crimson, alizarin crimson hue, and a little bone black. This is a stiff bristle brush. I am making material for collage with these pieces of paper. So within a small color range, I want to make different kinds of marks that I can cut apart and reassemble with or without other elements um, in collage. So it's kind of a disassembly and reassembly exercise. This is Naples yellow or Maybe it's yellow ochre, one of those two, applied with a squeegee. So I'm using a limited color range here, but I want to create a variety of marks. So these are sort of masses of paint, masses of color. There I'm dragging the off-white over the yellow ochre. This is an off-white that I've mixed and, and put in a squeeze bottle. This is house paint with a cheap hardware store bristle brush to get a different kind of mark. It also creates a different kind of surface and it makes this lightweight paper kind of ripple in a certain way. So now I've got the graphite and I'm making lines on some of the pieces. This is a Lyra graphite crayon. Now I'm painting over that with the latex house paint. That's an interior latex. Here, as you can see, I'm using a brayer with black paint. That's probably carbon black. Because it's a little more opaque and strong, stronger than bone black. So that gives me a certain kind of heavy line. And with a regular one inch flat brush, I'm painting in a deep gray, which I have mixed. So you can see each one of these pieces gets some of the colors and elements, but not all of them. So each one's gonna be a little different, And the point is to get a variety of material for collage. Now this is another cheap hardware store brush. I think it's like inch and a half, maybe two inches. Gives a really beautiful crude kind of mark. There, 
that is the carbon black. I love the edges of the mark this brush can make. And there I'm scratching through it with the end of the brush to make some different kinds of lines. So here are the pieces. Each one is different from the others. And here are the collages I made from them. These are 11 by 14 on Bristol.